Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a solo surgery reading for a client. Um, the solo surgery was one of like three, three or four love readings that I offered throughout the the week of Valentine's Day. Um, they're not available anymore, but I do have a love and relationships reading if you're interested. So, if you feel like you want a love reading with me, <laughs> um, the love readings are, the relationship and love readings are available still, but <clears throat> this particular one is not. So, um, just a backstory my client is asking for some guidance with their love life. Um, they have been going through. Just, I feel, healing from a love relationship that didn't work out and losing this particular person was really hard on this on my client. And um, they've been on the journey of healing from the relationship as well as dating and trying to meet new people. Dating is not easy, you guys. It's very hard. Um, and my client is just kind of at that point where they just want to know is there someone coming is there somebody out there for them and so the solo surgery reading is going to kind of give us that um that look into seeing where you're at your energy right now as a single person the kind of energy that you're putting out into love and the kind of energy you need to attract to attract love and I will also pull for your future to see just a little sneak peek into what is going to come. Um, so for the love reading, the solo surgery reading, I'm going to be working with two decks. I have the Romance Angels, which is an oracle deck. Um, I really love this deck for love readings. I feel like it's always accurate. So we're going to see what this one has to say for you. And I'm also going to be using the Lover's Path Tarot. I just bought this one uh, about a month ago, and I really love this deck for love reading. So we will see what it has to say for you. Oh, and let me swap out the crystals I was using for my other client. Let me pull some hearts. I'll put a carnelian. I like to use carnelian for confidence, self-confidence. And of course, rose quartz because rose quartz is the crystal of love. Let's do a um, aventurine. Is this one aventurine? I don't think it's aventurine. There's another name for <laughs> But we'll pull the green one out because um, ametrine, that's what it is. Um, no, it's not. It's not ametrine. I just, I lost my train of thought. Um, we'll pull this guy out for... Aventurine. <laughs> That's what it is. They're all they all sound the same after a while. Um, we'll all we'll put this one out for you. I associate green with abundance, so I feel like an abundance of love is in order for you. And I have my beautiful crystals here with my candles for you. I'm just going to connect while I shuffle and we'll get started with your reading. So we're going to be focusing on your love life. Oh, there we go.
Okay. You're going to have two people coming in. Right off the bat, I see that. Um, let me pull my oracle cards for you. Okay, now this one came up in reversed, so I'm gonna pay attention to that when we get to the oracle cards. Um, okay, actually, let's just start with oracle cards first because it's cute. The message that they're saying is stay optimistic about your love life. <laughs> Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so first off, it's like spirit is saying stay optimistic. Don't get negative. Don't lose hope stay optimistic. I feel like it's like showing, you know, her hands are outreached It's and she's receiving. I feel like this is like, it, to me, I'm reading it as she's receiving a gift. So I feel like um, it is coming and the cards are definitely showing that it is. I feel like it's be careful what you wish for is the message spirit is telling you. Um, I'm really getting that feeling of you've been putting a lot of intention, a lot of manifesting lately, but be careful what you wish for because sometimes what you put out there is what you are going to exactly receive and you might get more than you bargained for. So I'm going to, I'll talk more about that soon. The next thing is you deserve love and it says you are lovable. So it's kind of like spirit. It has a sense of humor for you. They're saying you deserve love. You need to remind yourself that you deserve love. Remind yourself that you are worthy of love. It will happen. It is going to happen. Um, I love that we have like the arrow here, like Cupid's arrow, because we have that here too with Cupid. <laughs> um, and then finally, the the past life relationship you have known each other before came in reversed. Okay, so what I'm feeling for this is um, the ex is hard to get over because this is somebody that your soul, and I feel like I read this for you before in one of the other readings that I've done for you, but their ex is so hard for you to get over because this person was someone you were with in another life, okay? The card is upside down though, it came in reversed, um, which is showing, it's to me it feels like, I feel like you will, and I don't wanna be harsh when I say this, but I feel like it's, you will never 100% be clear from this person this person will always have some kind of influence some kind of um, um, grasp on you you will you will never be 100% in the clear from them okay um, they're gonna influence you 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 will always find yourself comparing other potential lovers to your ex because your soul was connected to them in a previous life. It's strong, but it's not meant to be in this present life unless they did want to come back and the two of you really tried to work things out. But for now, I'm seeing two people coming into your life. Um, we have the Princess of Staves, the prince or the Princess of Wands. Um, and I'm feeling like right now, the energy that you're putting into, um, into your love life is, a lot of action, okay? A lot of forward focus. You're very optimistic, which is what the card was saying, to be continue to be optimistic. Um, you're hopeful. You're definitely active. It's, it's, it's constantly on your mind. Love is on your mind. You have a, a heart and a soul that wants to love and be loved. And you will have that. Um, but I feel like it's the intention work that you're putting into there. It's its taking its time, but it, it's going to happen. You will definitely find your match. Now, <laughs> what I see here is we have a Prince of Arrow, okay? So a Prince of, or it's like the Prince of Swords. And then we have a Prince of Coins, okay? 
So these are two potential people that are going to be stepping into your life. They're going to have very different personalities and energies, okay? One of them, being an arrow or a sword, is going to be very talkative. Very, They're going to communicate. They're going to be... Um, they say what's on their mind, so they're one of those those people that just really speaks what's on their mind, but they love to communicate. That's very important to them. Um, they're not afraid to say what's on their mind, but this can be a little difficult sometimes too. Then we have the Prince of Coins, which is more um, earthy energy. This is someone who's a little bit more laid back. This is someone who's more patient, okay? Um, so a very aggressive nature, more patient, laid back, kind of go with the flow nature. Okay. Um, young, <laughs> they're both young. Um, I feel like maybe not as much established in their career as they are coming up as princes, not kings. Um, so they, I don't want to say that they're still in school, but Maybe one of them is still kind of studying or figuring out their path. The other one is more careful with the money relations, but I feel like um, both very young natured, very uh, social people, both of them. Um, but one of them tends to be a little bit more outspoken than the other. Now, <laughs> I also pulled the love card for you. Okay. So, it's either or. One of them is going to be a potential. Okay. And you know, they both they both might too, depending on how serious you are. Um, but there is a love connection made. Okay. The three of arrows comes up though. I'm not reading this as a breakup. I'm reading it as to be weary. Okay. Because... I don't want to say, oh, you're going to meet this person, you guys are going to be in a relationship, but it's not going to work. I don't want to say that because outcomes can change based on your actions. But I will say one of them is similar to you. Um, they have their heart tied up with someone else. Okay, so they either got out of a real um, big relationship too, or they are still hung up on their ex as well. So be a little bit mindful of this. Um, understand and don't judge others either. Like if you find out that one of the guys is still hung up on their ex, you also have to know like that you have your own um, strings tied to your ex as well. And it doesn't mean that you are hopeless or they are hopeless. Like maybe you two can um, kind of untangle each other's heartstrings and help each other out in that way but that's something to kind of I wanted to put it as a warning because when you are tied up on an ex if you're not willing to move forward that'll always be a block um, so for you personally it could be a block where you're afraid to move on because you're hung up on your ex but I feel for you you're ready to let go but this other person one of these two may still be hung up on it and if they're showing you signs of they're not ready don't waste your time so i'll just say that i see over here we have the strength card so i do feel like even though you're going to have this issue one of them is going to be very much worth it so i do feel like you're going to be kind of ping pong like dating both um seeing how you feel with both of them one of them is going to give you perhaps a little bit more red flag than the other. So judge wisely. Be strong and firm with your own what you need and what you're looking for in love. And if that person isn't fulfilling, don't waste your time. Okay? But I also feel like the strength wise is showing that the relationship is going to evolve. One of them is going to be very good for you. Okay? Um... I'm leaning more towards the coins, <laughs> the Prince of Coins. Um, that earth energy, I feel, is somebody you need. You need someone who's very grounded and who will help ground you um, and be the fruitful soil for you to bloom with, you know. We have King of Cups, the Eight of Arrows, 
and the Prince of Stays. Now, this is why I loved it because um, we started out with you coming up as the Princess of Staves. And when I pulled more cards about this potential relationship, I got the Prince of Staves. So it's kind of like the match, okay? The Eight of Arrows, I feel um, this relationship will be something that'll pull you out of your, um, kind of like your mindset, that negative mindset that you get caught up in when you're thinking about your ex, when you're caught up thinking about all that kind of stuff. This person's gonna distract you. They're gonna really pull you out of that and you need someone like that. Um, King of Cups, this is really like evolving with love, evolving with the way that you express your heart. I also feel like it's just, um, it just kind of symbolizes, because it's a king, we have a lot of the princes and stuff. I feel like it's really symbolizing growth and maturity, but this relationship is going to feel different. It's going to be very different. It's going to be like another more grown-up relationship than what other ones you were, you know, involved with. So I'm really hopeful for this. I really feel like this is revealing um, really good things to come. So let's pull and when is this going to happen? excited for you love because I hope that the next time I read for you it's going to be about an actual person right? I hope the next time I read for you it's Rose I met the person I met my prince of coins and my prince of arrows which one should I go you know <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be one of those We got a two and an eight and the king of arrows. Um, so we're already in the two. We're in February now. Okay. Eight is August. Okay. So I can read this a couple different ways. Two and eight could be within two to eight weeks. Okay. Eight weeks would be two months from now. Um, or sometime between February and 8 is what, August? So in the next, um, March, April, May, June, July, August, and then within six months, you'll be meeting these people. They'll be kind of coming out of the woodwork. So I'm going to, you know, go ahead and say that. So let's strive for two to eight weeks or six months. So about two months, six months, it's, it's going to happen this year. And a final message. <laughs> yes. So we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And the honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Holiday time together. Perhaps if you are planning a trip, maybe you'll meet someone there. Maybe you'll meet someone when you're on a vacation. Maybe, you know, you'll make plans with this person to go off on a holiday. Um, passion, all of that, it's there. I really feel like when you meet these two people, it's going to be very close together. Okay, um, so if you're on dating sites, you know, get ready. There might be two of them that will be popping up soon. Um, don't pick right away. I feel like you need to date both of them to figure it out. Because like I said, one of them is going to give you more red flags than the other. Um, and that's going to be kind of like how you'll be able to, to gauge which one is worth your time. But there's a lot of passion and a lot of love, and I feel like this 
this person is going to give you that feeling that you've never felt before. I think it's going to feel more like in a, a grown-up relationship than anything you've had before. So I'm really excited for you. I hope that this is, you know, something that you are, um, you know, ready to have. Um, be optimistic. Be positive. Keep putting your intentions out there. But just know that it's going to happen. It's going to happen and it's going to be this year. So I am rooting for you, my love. And I can't wait. I hope I get to read for the two of you when you guys are together. <laughs> So until then, um, I wish you all of the best. And if anybody who's still watching this, if you are interested in a love reading with me, click the link below and check me out. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.